Thank you, I got one clap, I appreciate that. My name is Brendan Hyland, I'm the principal at NAI, and I always correct myself after I say that I'm the very, very proud principal of NAI, because I have the most fabulous students that you can ever imagine. And I know you may not think that and sometimes when they come home at night, but trust me, while they're there, they're fabulous, awesome kids. So thank you so much for coming tonight. Um, before we get started, I would be remiss if I didn't thank a lot of people who have done a lot of work behind the scenes to make this evening go smoothly. Uh, from, let's start off with Mr. Kreider. Uh, I want to thank him for uh, permitting us to use his auditorium tonight and being such a gracious, gracious host and doing everything he possibly could <laughs> to make this a successful evening. I want to thank all the members of Central Administration who have been so supportive uh, of this initiative. They have gone out of their way to make this endeavor go as smoothly as possible, and they do what they're supposed to do, which is support the building, which supports the kids so that we can make this the best school possible. Um, I'd like to thank the people from my building who have volunteered. There's over 20 members from NAI tonight who have taken their time away from their families to be here to make this be a very, very smooth evening. So to my people, thank you. Uh, you know I appreciate the work that you do. Most importantly, I would like to thank you. Um, I recognize that you want to get in here and you want to get out. And so I'm going to make sure that I keep, I hear you. I want to know and do it I have three kids. Uh, I'm missing open house tonight. I'm missing a soccer game and Boy Scouts. Uh, so I know you have places to be. So I'm going to go through this as quickly as possible. And I promise you this presentation will not take more than 25 minutes. And it will get you out of here and we'll get the future started. So the, the reason we're all here is because we have a mission in the North Allegheny School District. And to summarize it, we want to prepare our kids for the world that they're going to live in. And folks, it's changing very, very rapidly. And we need to prepare those kids so when they leave North Allegheny, they are at a competitive advantage so that they can compete and survive and thrive in a world that's changing very, very quickly. Uh, in order to do that, we're obviously making some changes. We think some changes that are going to be fundamental uh, and dynamic changes in the building. I have been involved in education. This is my 24th year. This is my ninth year as principal at NAI. And there are a couple nights that I get e extremely excited. Freshman orientation, first day of school and graduation. But I can tell you for tomorrow, uh, I'm, it's probably the most excited I've ever been as a principal because I get to see half of my kids getting ready to get ready for that changing world. And I, I'm going to make a promise to you, we're going to do everything we possibly can at NAI to make sure that that happens. Before we get started tonight, there are a couple things that we need to make sure that we take care of. And those are the logistics. And you've, you're already off to a good start because you made it here tonight, right? It's not that you weren't bombarded with emails and phone calls from this face. Uh, uh, leaving voice messages, but I appreciate you doing what you needed to do. A um, couple things that you need is you need your user agreement, and I'm sure that as you walked in, uh, people told you about that. You also need to have the acceptable uh, use policy signed by both yourself and your child, and of course you have to enroll in the insurance program, whether to accept or decline. I will tell you this, I watch it, uh, I watched it all day over the past three days, and our, of the 699 computers that we're going to give out tonight, we have had 594 people, I believe, that have already accepted or declined insurance. So uh, my hat's off to you, and I thank you for following all the directions that you needed to do. If, in fact, uh, you were not able to sign up for insurance, there's four places in the back that you can do that. You can also multitask and pay attention to the presentation. But if you want to get out of here quicker, you can go on your phone and you can try and uh, get onto the website, which is listed up on the screen there, to go ahead and enroll. Let me tell you a little bit about what we're going to do tonight. We are going to introduce Focus 2020, and you're going to hear from some speakers who are part of our central administrative team that, uh, as I said earlier, were instrumental in, in, in beginning this journey that we're going to embark upon. They're going to lay out the program goals for you, and uh, why are we doing this? Why, are, why, why did we make this decision? Why did a group of people come together and say, this is in the best interest of our kids? Um, we're gonna talk about the device care and what your students need to know for their safety. Additionally, we're gonna talk about this, the training that's gone on for both students and staff, 
And of course, most importantly, we're going to make sure that uh, we work you through the directions to obtain your laptop. My hope is that everybody kind of follows the directions. If you do, we will meet that goal, which a lot of people had when they first came in here, which is to get out of here as quickly as possible. The one thing that I would ask, if you would, um, if you have questions about this evening's presentation, uh, please don't do it during the presentation. There will be representatives from North Allegheny. I will be right out front. I will, I will stay as long as we need to to answer any questions that you have. But in order to get people on their way, we're not gonna take any questions during the presentation. And uh, again, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to be with us here tonight. And again, as your child's principal, I will do my best and my staff will do their best to help our kids be as successful as they possibly can. At this time, it is my honor to introduce the Substitute Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Robert Shear. This is an exciting night. Um, thank you, Dr. Hyland, for all that you have done to make this evening yep. possible. The staff at NAI, uh, I don't want to go through all the names that he went through, but please understand it took a village to get us here to this point. Uh, and really tonight is the culmination of a journey, a journey that we started some years ago as we started to really look at the infrastructure of the district and, and what we could do with technology. And last year we put together a technology advisory committee and the committee was made up of individuals from the community, teachers, administrators, uh, a number of uh, folks who wanted to say in how technology can impact the learning for our students. And, and through a year's worth of study, they went out and they took a look at best practices. We visited other school districts. Um, and we really started to think about how we could transform the learning environment for our students. Uh, today's students are in a world that is very different than the world we were in when we were in school. Yet sometimes in schools, we continue to try to do things the way we did them 20 and 30 years ago. Um, and that doesn't always make sense when you really think about it. And so this is the, this is the point where we're gonna now jump off and say, let's look at how we can personalize learning and do it a little bit differently? How can we be sure that we are preparing our students for success in a world that we don't even know of yet today? Um, there are things that they're going to encounter that we have to prepare them for uh, that you can't find in the textbook. And so the implementation of, implementation of technology in this way uh, is really gonna allow us to, to do some things that we have not been able to do at this point. Uh, so I do want to thank the members of the Technology Advisory Committee who were part of that. In fact, there are some of those individuals here tonight who do not have a student uh, at NAI but wanted to see this because this really is uh, showing off all of the work that they've put into this. And I also stand here not only as someone who works in the district but as a student of a 10th grader at NAI. And so I'm excited and also apprehensive and nervous as a parent, you know, about the responsibility that we're putting in, uh, in our students' hands. But uh, we truly believe that this is the very best thing that we can do for our students. So uh, the Technology Advisory Committee laid the groundwork for Focus 2020. And what I'd like to do right now is share with you a brief video that we've put together that talks a little bit about how we came to where we are today. Go big or go! The start of this school year marks an exciting time for North Allegheny. The board recently approved a plan that will advance technology at every grade level across the district. The new technology plan will be rolled out over a four-year period to help ensure both our staff and students achieve success. We are responsible for preparing students for an ever-changing world, and we know that with change, there's lots of challenge. We also know that our North Allegheny community, comprised of students, teachers, staff, principals, and parents, are up for that challenge and ready to forge forward. This initiative will enhance the way we deliver curriculum to students by integrating technology into their everyday lesson plans. The North Allegheny Comprehensive Plan runs a span from 2014 until 2020. Our focus is on 2020. What does this mean as we embark upon a one-to-one -one initiative over the next four years to take us until 2020, but then also how are we delivering our mission and our vision to make sure that all students meet with that success in a changing world? During the 2014-2015 school year, the North Allegheny School District convened a Technology Advisory Committee. This committee, which consisted of parents, teachers, administrators, 
school board members, and members of the community at large came together to research and study how technology might transform the learning environment for the students in North Allegheny. Throughout this collaborative process, the committee learned that in order to personalize learning for our students and continue to provide the best educational experiences for our young men and women, technology needed to be a part of the learning process. The committee specifically recommended that we, number one, create an equitable technology environment for all students and teachers, number two, adopt a one-to-one -one computing environment in grades one through 12, and three, expand staffing appropriately to support success. These recommendations are now embedded into what we are calling Focus 2020, preparing NA for a changing world. First, the year 2020 coincides with the end of our comprehensive plan. This strategic plan, which codifies our mission, vision, and belief statements, lays the foundation for the work we do every day and serves as a blueprint for our efforts. The plan also establishes a goal that we will innovate our educational practices and become leaders in technology integration. Second, the year 2020 serves as an important guidepost in our efforts to transform the learning environment through the skilled use of technology. It is our hope that all of the committee's recommendations will be in place by that time. This coming school year, all students and staff members will have access to additional technological resources and students in grades 9 through 10 will be provided a laptop computer and students in grade 6 will receive an iPad. Finally, Focus 2020 is a metaphor. When your vision is perfect, there is clarity. It is clear to us that through the use of technology as a learning tool, we will be able to prepare NA students for success in a changing world. Last year I had the terrific opportunity to serve on the district's technology advisory committee. It was an absolutely eye-opening experience for me. I learned so much. One of the most profound things that I learned was from one of the colleges that we surveyed where one of the admissions officers told us they are looking for students who are not just consumers of technology but are creators of technology. It's impossible to be a creator of technology when you're only exposed to technology for short bursts of time. Technology can't be an event. It has to be seamlessly woven into the curriculum and instructional areas daily. A lot of background work has gone on so far with this project. We've been rebuilding the infrastructure for the last several years to be able to capitalize on this. Um, by 2020, we will be in a completely different place than we are right now, thanks to the hard work of the IT guys. I think that one-to-one -one technology will create so many possibilities for both teachers and students. By having immediate access to technology, students and teachers have endless tools, resources, and information at their fingertips. For students, one-on-one -on -one technology will enhance the way that they collaborate and communicate with one another and really provide so many opportunities for them to use critical thinking skills and be creative in their learning. The district has expanded the ranks of our tech integrators. They are ready and excited to guide us along. Many of the people we work with have expertise in this area as well and can be counted on, as always, to support those of us who are just beginning this ride. Our colleagues are our greatest resource. We are all on this trip together, and together we will gradually get to our destination. A significant part of teaching and learning is the type of curriculum that we deliver to our young people. We recognize over the course of the next several years, we have a great deal of work to do related to the technological resources that we embed in our instruction at North Allegheny. That means whether it is a website, an application, a piece of hardware, software, whatever it may be, we recognize that this hard work puts everyone in the same place. Getting our students ready for life after North Allegheny, the 21st century, we can do it together and our hard work will really pay off. The kids are really having fun with their learning and that's the goal. We want them to come to school every day, really learn and challenge themselves, be able to achieve the rigor that we expect of them, but to produce something that they're proud of, feel a stake in, it's personalized, it de demonstrates what they really know. Blended learning, well the research is clear. Nothing can substitute the importance of a teacher in the classroom. But with the advancement of technology, the implementation of blended learning provides teachers the opportunity to maximize learning by combining elements of both face-to-face -face and online learning. When asked to think about how the one-to-one -one initiative has changed me as an educator, I think the best way to respond to that is that it has made me think about learning from the student's perspective more than it ever has. 
many times when we think about education, we reflect back on our own experiences. But obviously, what we're preparing our children for today and for tomorrow is much different than what we had to be prepared for. So the one-to-one -one initiative is really making me look through teaching and learning through the eyes of the child, not just in middle school, but K-12. to Our expectations will change every year because the technology changes every year. And what we know and what our students know and have available will continue to evolve. This will be transformative, not just for our education, but for our organization as we learn to use these resources in tremendous ways to help prepare our students. I think the next few years in technology are going to be really exciting in North Allegheny. We're going to have digital classrooms everywhere and we're going to be starting the rollout of one-to-one -one technology. I know that we can do this and stay a top 100 school district moving forward. We have all of the natural resources ready to roll. All we need to do is to add the technology to the mix. I'm excited about what we're going to do over the next few years. I hope you are too. Go, go, go. I do want to thank Dr. Andrejko and Mr. West for a lot of their work on not only the video here, but a lot of the other communications that we've done. Uh, this has been a collaborative effort. Hopefully the video gives you just a, a small glimpse into what it is that we are looking to do. Um, but we also know that over the next four years, um, where we are today and where we will be are two very different places. So at this time, I would like to introduce uh, the Assistant Superintendent of Academic Advancement, Dr. Andrejko. Thank you. Good evening and welcome. My name is Tammy Andrejko and I'm very, very excited to have you here. I, I share with you, I am a proud member of the TAC committee that worked throughout the last year working with many other school districts to make some big decisions related to teaching and learning at North Allegheny. We certainly want to become leaders in education, but we also want to become leaders in technological innovation for our students and for our staff. So we had many program goals as we emerged from our research. And we really knew that we wanted to transform learning in a rigorous, engaging, <laughs> and a meaningful experience for our young people. And that really is taking a vision from K to 12. We wanted equitable digital resources for our young people. So as we make decisions, as we change curriculum, we have new electronic resources, that all of our students can access those um, pieces of technology and that resource um, equitably as they do their work. We really truly know that as our young people move forward in life, teaching them those digital lit literacy skills are life skills for them. Not necessarily, as we've said before, the skills that we had to have as young people, but certainly that digital footprint that they put forth every day is important as they mature and go on to life after North Allegheny. We like to promote the four C's at North Allegheny. I think you've seen that many times before, but that idea of critical thinking, creativity, communication, collaboration, all through lifelong learning is absolutely vital to the world that our students are going into as they become career and college ready. And we feel as though this initiative will certainly help them on their way. You have received many emails from me in the last several days, and I'm proud to say that um, your response has been amazing, and we have a tech, a tech website ready to launch today as well, so if you have additional questions or, or have um, ideas for us along the way, we certainly welcome those. Um, the laptop is ultimately the district's um, own device, and we are lending students that device during several years while they, uh, before they graduate from high school. And I noticed that Dr. Highland already mentioned to you the student acceptable use policy. That is actually part of our code of conduct, and it was required as a sign-off from you at the beginning of the school year. So many of you may have asked this evening, oh, was I supposed to bring that to? No, that's already been submitted to the homeroom teacher, and that's already been taken care of. Students tonight will receive a carrying case to help protect, protect the, the device from bringing it from home to school and then back again. And I share with you that we are opening our very first student-based help desk at NAI starting tomorrow. So if our students have any needs throughout the day, we'll have a staffed um, member of, uh, of our IT department right on site at NAI for you. 
We also offered the opportunity for insurance for our families to enroll. You had the opportunity to accept or decline that, but we needed to have you do that before we actually uh, finalize our distribution of the, of the equipment this evening. Student digital safety is paramount for us. This session for our young people tomorrow, we call this our boot up camps, will actually occur during their English classes. So you'll bring the laptop home tonight and plug it in, and then tomorrow during the English classes, we'll offer sessions to students to talk about laptop use, safety, digital citizenship, the software that we're offering to our young people, ways to customize their device to make it their own, and much, much more. Our technology integrators, part of our faculty and staff, have been working on this presentation, and we will make sure all of our 10th graders have that presentation tomorrow. We will also equip all of our devices with a filtering software um, that is required actually by the Children's Internet Protection Act. It's different from perhaps the devices that you have at home, which may not have any type of filtering system, but our filtering system transfers to these laptops, whether they're here or at home. We want to stress to our young people that their digital footprint is very important, and we hope that through your work at home as families and our work here at the North Allegheny family will help them get ready. And we thank you again for all of um, your, your great attention to this matter in the last two weeks, and obviously we can see how important this is to you as a family, so good luck and, and thank you very much. At this time, a great partner that I've had working with me on this project is Dr. Kathy Curran. She's our coordinator of academic technology, and we're very, very lucky to have her. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the programs that are on the computer and a few other little things, and then we'll start the distribution so that will make everyone happier because we can keep us moving along this evening. So when the devices are received, you'll note that we use Google Drive. Many of you know that your students have used a lot of the Google apps um, throughout their career here at the district, particularly when they get to NAI. This is where we are suggesting your students store all of their files because their files will be on the cloud, which means they'll be able to access them here at school and at home. So that will be the best way for your students to be able to store, and we will stress that to them throughout the next few weeks to just make sure everyone remembers that. They also have access to Gmail. That is a live Gmail account that will communicate not just within the district, but outside of the district. There are some products that they may want to use in, in the classes that require registration, and that makes that available to them. All of that mail is archived and monitored, so it's not like we can't go back and see if anything happens or we see inappropriate communication. That's something you may want to stress to your children, too, that it is monitored. Um, your students will also have access to the Blackboard product. Many of your teachers have started to use Blackboard with their students this past year and will continue to do so over the next several years. It is our um, learning management platform of choice and basically the idea is that over the next several years our teachers will be putting more and more content out there so your students will be able to access school materials both from at home and in the classroom. Online textbooks are available to access through these devices. Um, depending upon the publisher, because every publisher handles these things a little bit differently. There may be PDF versions that they can then work with individually, or they may just be able to access the website. Um, Microsoft Office will be on the, um, the devices, as well as specific software. We're working right now with different faculty members who are requesting applications be installed based on what's going on in the curriculum. So you may today not have an application that will be there in a week or so when, when those faculty members get everything through and we have an opportunity to get everything pushed out. <coughs> the software on your device will be automatically updated. There are maintenance windows that will happen in the evening. Um, what will happen is if your device is on, the software will remotely push the updates to you. If it happens to be off when those updates um, are available when your child comes into school the next day, they'll, they'll begin to push to them. So um, it may be a good habit that once a week you leave the machine turned on while it's plugged in and charging overnight. We are encouraging students to personalize their devices so they can set screensavers if they're liking on their outside sleeve that we're giving them. They can certainly customize it and have a great time with Sharpies or whatever it is they need to do to make it look like theirs and feel like themselves. Um, so those pieces, and again, this will all be discussed with the students tomorrow during that boot up camp. In terms of resources for you to be able to see what's going on, we have developed a new website that is off of the district site. It's under the academics tab. It's called Focus 2020. Or you can simply go to www. Uh, 
um, northallegheny.org slash focus2020, all one word. On there is a, a healthy list of frequently asked questions that we've been building based on the feedback we've had. There's also an opportunity for a form there that you can submit additional questions if you don't see the information you're looking for. Um, we have copies of district policies. We have information about how your students can access the help desk. We really encourage it to be, we want to hear from your students. It's part of a self-advocating process that we really want the kids to be independent and be able to talk to the help desk staff and represent their needs. Um, so we really like to see them do that. We'll have resources there on digital citizenship, um, as well as just some general operational sort of pieces that we will be reviewing continually with, the, with your students. Um, when you go home tonight, we ask that you charge the laptop. They've been in the production process for quite a while, and you know when you get something new, sometimes the charge is in place and sometimes it isn't. These do have extended life batteries here to last 10 hours, but we want the children to be able to come to school tomorrow and not have to deal with if they have a low battery. So we ask you to please plug them in and charge them, but please do not turn, do not try to turn them on or log into them. We need them to be on our network the first time they log in. If they try to log into them tonight and power them on, it's going to make their morning tomorrow a little more difficult as they try to sequence and get onto the network. Um, so we do want the children to bring them tomorrow to school in their carry case. If they really feel like they want to do something, they can just kind of work on personalizing that, that bag so it looks different because we will have 1,400 identical bags in school by next week. That's probably not a good idea. Go. Yeah.